Good and talking with me. We get some more Dita, even Dita. Yes, Dita's gonna bang out two morning coffees today. Yes, he just discovered. Uh, well, he just discovered an, a, a, a new musician who's deceased, thanks to viewers like you, Robert Quine. He was wondering who was playing that yeah, good guitar with Lou Reed. Anyway, um, to show that Dita's not biased and. Uh, uh, he's going to talk a bit about bullshit, electric guitar bullshit bias today. And to show that Dita's not biased, see, you have to understand, Dita's an old man who's poor. <laughs> not guitar poor, but poor. So he, he only has what he has. And, uh, and to show he's not biased, he's going to, what's our, what's our captive audience today? It is, look at that, a beat up rusted up Strat. An iconic guitar. Now, this is getting to Dita's point. What's he playing today? <laughs> Is, uh, he's not trying to sell you on these polytoners. He likes it because, you see, it's bright and it shows the colors show up nicely on a stellar iPhone 11. That's why he's using it. He still has to find out, but Dita tuning is somewhere south of 435. So he had his, he had his uh, Montreal actually tuned too low the other day. You can tune it too low and then, uh, you know, the strings get a little lax, but it's all about finding a tuning that you like, especially, uh, you know, a standardized tuning only matters if you're playing, uh, if the rest of your band, if you're playing with keyboards that can't tune to what you are, some keyboards are tuned to 440, then you have to tune up for that, right? What he's calling bullshit on is, um, you know, you, you, like anything else, there's the good, the bad, and ugly, and everything. And uh, there's lots of good information on the internet, lots of bad information, lots of mediocre information on the internet, and everything in between. But um, this is what Dita encourages viewers like you to do. Doesn't matter what you have, as uh, as long as you like it. That's the thing that matters. And, uh, you know, get guitars for the styles that you want to play. But as far as, uh, you know, if you've got like something like uh, like this Montreal, which is a hollow body, uh, or if you have something like that Strat, right, which is a solid body, or like Adidas LGXT, uh, you got to get rid of this idea that there's an ideal guitar. Uh, there isn't. Uh, if it's a good guitar, well made, it's got good pickups, and you've got a decent amp. If you're playing electric guitar, that's all you need. So, uh, see if we're in tune today, Dita. See, D you, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Dude is actually making a concerted effort to be in tune to, to hear for, for uh, viewers like you. But it will be Dita tuning, which is somewhere south of 435. We know that right. So he's got a, his guitar now have to get adjusted to his new tuning. So this is what Dita has to say to those of you who think you have to have a, a hollow body guitar to play blues or jazz, or you have to have a solid body guitar to play rock and roll. No, you don't, because this is what Dita says to you, like his good old friend Wash Waters and David Gillard. Hello, is there anybody in there? 
tonight if you can hear me. Ah, started in the wrong key. Hello, is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone at home? Is there anyone at home? So the next time someone tells you, you have to have this, just go. Is there anyone at home? Who's at home in your own mind? There is no pain you are receiving. You're giving me a headache. You're giving me a headache with all your body advice. You only come and through in waves and waves and waves. Right? We don't want to infringe on anyone's copyright, but I love that song. And yeah, I'm pretty sure if I had David here, he could play that fabulous solo from Comfortably Numb, pretty darn well on any, any decent guitar you give him. That's Dita's advice today, amazing me. Um, play your guitars. This, this is what I'm trying to do. You, you see the, the videos I'm doing this week. I'm mostly featuring my um, my Montreal because it's such a lovely guitar and my LGXT. I've got them. If I don't play them, what do I have them? And so probably next week, uh, I don't want to neglect my nylon string friends. So I'm going to try, I think, uh, to rotate two or three guitars a week. And every time you know you play a you play one, if you have if you have the luxury of people in my position, where you have quite a few guitars, you know, um, I'm not going to get rid of them. Uh, but if I'm not going to get rid of them, I don't want them uh, collecting dust. The cases can collect dust. I put the guitars inside, and then the the cases can collect dust. But when they got too much dust, what I'm going to do from now on is wipe that dust off and open it up and see what's in there. Yeah. So happy plucking, Maze and Me. And remember, wherever you, go, wherever you go, there you are. And whatever you play, that's what you're playing. So... Even if it's a beat up, rusted old strat, you can refurbish that thing. I know, because I've done it. Not to strats, but to my own. Leaders ain't happy plucking. <laughs>